Sonic and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod or actually not mod but just change a couple of your uh, stats and stuff up in Skyrim through the PC version of Skyrim and this is an Xbox 360 tutorial just letting you know alright so uh, let's start first you want to open up your uh, save in Horizon and go to contents extract the save game data file to your desktop and once that's all finished up you want to have already started playing Skyrim otherwise your um, your folder for your games may not show up immediately now that you have your save game dot data file you can go and open up your my games folder for Skyrim just go to my games Skyrim saves drag the uh, save game in here and I've already done this one time so I'm going to have to replace mine but uh, rename the .dat part with ESS and yeah that's uh, or yeah let me just delete this so that way I can okay and after you've done this you just want to load up Skyrim Alright, now that we have Skyrim loaded up, um, I'm going to go down to load, and I'm going to load up my save that I just put into the, uh, my games thing, and this will show up, just click yes, and if you just saw how my save was all stretched out and weird, on the picture that usually will show up because the resolution changes from Xbox to PC and um... yeah this uh... loading took a while but um... when I do get in the game I'm gonna uh, use some console commands to uh... change up my stuff real quick like Whenever this finishes loading, anytime now, sooner or later. And okay. Yes, and uh, I have no idea where I'm at, but um, I'm going to figure out which button goes to the menu. Which button goes to the... Yeah, I haven't played the PC version that much. Okay, I got it. Um, I'm going to go look at the skills. Yeah, I have really high skills and stuff in my game. But... I'm going to press the asterisk key, which is the key under the escape key, and I think I'm going to change my uh, lock picking to like a thousand. So what you want to do is you click the, or press the asterisk key, and type in player dot set av space lock picking, or whichever one you're going to do and then space whatever number you want to change it to and to find out more console commands which is which is the uh, player dot whatever part or whatever you want to do um, you just go and look it up on google it's kinda easy and you can put whatever perks you want and like help and stuff would be player dot set av space help or space magica or space carry weight make sure if it's a two worded thing that you put the whole word like put the words together and then put space like carry weight you just put carry weight all one word and then you can add items and stuff I just added a hundred lock picks and go check up on that and this is pretty much how I modded mine I added a whole bunch of ebony ingots and stuff and made some Diedrich armor and I have a whole bunch of random stuff but my carry weight's so high I can just hold it all 
And yeah, that's about it for this part, so I'm just gonna save. Overwrite the save that you just um, did, the save whatever, mine's 35. And then press escape again, go down to quit, and we're heading back to the desktop. Okay, now that we've um, got, we, we've already modded our save, we can now go back to the My Games, Skyrim saves, and just drag this out to your desktop, and then we can rename it .dat again. And now we can continue on into Horizon. Open up our save again, make sure it's the same one, go to contents, and replace. It's as easy as that, and you should have whatever you want changed in Skyrim. After it's replaced, it should show up saying file successfully replaced, or some type of message indicating that it was replaced. It may take a while. And then after that shows up, just save, rehash, and resign. This may take a while depending on how much uh, new stuff or how much more stuff you put in the game. Because your save game size may be a bit bigger. And then. Once that's done, you just uh, go and play Skyrim on the 360 now and then load up that save. It'll have the weird little, like, stretched out save game picture whenever you go to load it up. But that's just because you brought it from PC to Xbox. And um, I hope this helped you guys out. And I'll see you next time.